folks, I'm Sarah Rochelle, and guess what? Starting off 2019 right, doing a bunch of chat videos? I don't know why, but that's, we're back to 2019 and resolutions and mottos, and I need to not lean on my desk because it just, it just, that's problematic. Um, 2019, I've developed two mottos over the course of this almost week of the new year, five days, five days. It took me five days to develop two mottos that lead into like the third general overarching one because that's how I work. And it's no regrets and don't sell yourself short. Good mottos for life in general and everything else in the world. Um, first of all, no regrets because this, this is the big one. There's a lot of stuff packed into this little two word phrase because, because and people tend to do this as they make a decision and then they decide they didn't make the right decision or they made a decision that made them happy, but it probably wasn't the best decision. doesn't matter. You made a decision. It's in the past. You can might have also went and saw The Lion King recently on the Broadway musical, so that's part of the thing. But like the point of good old Rafiki saying it's in the past. You could either dwell on it or move on from it and learn from it. You know, he hits him in the head and then he dodges it the second time. Yeah, that's what you do. You just learn from your decisions and move on because that's the only thing. And you do better next time. Or you make a different decision next time because you remember how the decision made the thing. The only, the no regrets. There's an addendum to the no regrets, but that's going to come in in a little bit. Um, the only thing with no regrets, and it, not the only thing with the no regrets, but part of it ties into it is also, I do not like the phrase guilty pleasures. Like people have like a guilty pleasure sh song or like they eat like chocolate ice cream. Is uh, That's a stupid phrase. It's a stupid phrase. Nobody should feel guilt for enjoying things. Like, ooh, that's a lot of thing that we, we <sighs> culturally, from what I've noticed, is we tend to, we, we, we want to put guilt on ourselves for enjoying things because we don't think we deserve to enjoy things. And that is stupid and a lie and people deserve to enjoy themselves. Like, I'm okay. There's, there's gonna be a backstory here because that's how my brain works. But like, it doesn't, it, the phrase doesn't make sense to me because like, it makes you happy. You shouldn't feel guilty for being happy unless it's at the expense of others. Like if you're stepping on toes and stuff, then maybe, and that's where the, the, the addendum is, is if it hurts somebody else, if it harms or like somebody else, then yeah, you maybe should regret that decision, but still, use and do better next time and like try and work on like apologizing or making up for it or something like if you make a decision that actively hurts someone else then yeah that's maybe a decision to be regretted but actively work to be better it's it's been made like you can't change the decision that's been made just use it and work better but yeah the whole guilt thing really bugs me i grew up catholic still catholic Catholic guilt is, you know, a phrase that gets thrown around and it's stupid and doesn't work on me very much anymore. Where, you know, trying to get you to go to all those holy days of obligation that who goes to those? I technically think New Year's Day is one of them. Did not go to that one. But, like, that's the thing. It's like, it, <laughs> the entire point is not, it's not to, like, not enjoy yourself. There's a book in the Bible about, like, do what you want as long as you don't hurt others because you're only there, like, for a little bit. Might as well have that wine. I don't remember which book. I should look it up because that would be a well-informed decision and now I'm spouting lies to you. Don't trust my biblical knowledge, but... Sometimes. But, like, that's the thing. is like, if it's not actively harming somebody else and you're not doing, like, putting more negative stuff into the world you're just you know enjoying yourself what's wrong like that's no regrets make a decision live with it do better next time if you didn't like the decision but don't dwell on it because then it just creates all this negativity that builds up and it's not fun it's not fun part of the thing is is i have to remind myself that one you just make a decision move on continue on your life no regrets Great. Second one is don't sell yourself short, which t t kind of ties into the other one because people forget to like just do things and like acknowledge their own like good things. I mean, it doesn't really tie into the other one. It's kind of the opposite of the other one, but we're okay. Um, because like y you people do good. You can do good. You can be like proud of yourself. That's okay. Like pride is not bad. Too much pride is. 
It's all about the balances. <laughs> That's the thing. So, like, too much pride, probably not great. But, but, but you should, like, don't sell yourself short. You're good at something. I play the flute. I'm pretty good at it. Most times. And if I'm not, I just make something up and it's not like anybody else in my church knows because they're not reading my music. I am. And so they don't know that what I'm playing is wrong or not what's written because they're not actively reading what's written. It's great. I can make up whatever I want. As long as it sounds okay, nobody knows. It's wonderful. Um, but that's the thing. It's like, just like, don't sell yourself short. Everybody has a talent or an ability or like you do something and put something into the world that's like good or preferably good, could be bad, and that's when you'd be like, okay, maybe that wasn't great, so let me do better next time. The entire key, the entire other plot of this is, if you didn't like what you did, don't dwell on it, do better next time. That's, that's it, that's all you have to do, is just, just make a new decision and go. And that's it, just make a new decision. Make a decision. So, the follow-up, so no regrets. Don't sell yourself short. Because, because, and people forget about this. People, we're in here into Sarah's philosophy of life today. Um, also, probably need to work on referring to myself in the third person, because I don't need to do that. There's one me. I'm single. A one single person. A single human. Um, so, that is the thing. It's like, you got to be, be a person you're proud of. Like, we're really easily proud of, like, our friends and our family and stuff when they do something great. So, like, why, why not be proud of yourself? If you're not stepping on people's toes, if you're not pushing others down to raise yourself up, there's nothing wrong with being like, hey, I did a cool thing today. So, like, yeah, cool. And I liked what I did. And I want to share it with people. Go ahead and do that. Now... We'll get back to this and, like, I need to remind myself this. Part of the reason I'm making this video is, hey, Sarah, hey, Sarah, listen to yourself sometimes. I never, we never listen to our own advice. We always tell people what we should do in other in situations and stuff, but then we never take our own advice because we don't like ourselves. It's not a good thing that we've developed, but, you know, you just, just be proud of yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. Just don't push others down. Do good. Don't push others down. No regrets. Don't sell yourself short and be a person you're proud of. Cool. We good? That's what 2019's for. Five. We turn two into five. There's no, I, I don't know where I was going with that. But like, that's it. That's it. That's 2019. We're going to do good. I keep rotating in this chair because it's a spinny chair and it's very fun to rotate. And it keeps me doing something where I'm not like leaning on my desk all the time. So there's that. So I be Sarah Rochelle. This has been Sarah's life philosophies for the year of 2019 that have developed very short, short, shortly in the course of the video. There is a sentence there that got stumbled upon in the middle. And thank you for watching, peeps.